guys, so um, today I'm going to be doing my first video since I got my braces off, so that's really, really exciting. But I got a bunch of stuff from CVS, not a lot of makeup, but just random stuff. And then I want to review one product, just if I have time. So first, I got a new deodorant. This is a secret fresh effects one. I really love this one. This is like my favorite. This is the Fresh Water Orchard. Then, um, let's try to keep an order here. Um, okay. Then I got a, oh, an Olay, because I just finished mine. Olay Body Wash Plus Toning Enriching Ribbons Moisture and Mineral Shimmer with Mika Minerals. And it's like the brown one. I really like it. It smells so good. Um, this is the first time I'm using it, but uh, like this is a I've tried all of them except this one, so I'm really excited to try it, and I'll let you guys know because I, I love all those. Um, then for face, I got Garnier Skin Renew. I needed a new one, so I picked up a new one of those. Um, then I got a new. Clean and Clear Black Heather Research Scrub, because mine is, like, on the end, and I love it. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, it works so good. Then I just got two lotion products, one is over here, that I got, that I got it, um, a, a travel size, Cure All Continuous Comfort, just the original hand cream. This is really good. Um, this is what I use like in the morning. Um, and then the rest of the day I use my True Rule Spot one. And then I got another Cure All product. This is the Targeted Therapy Deep Penetrating Foot Cream. It's really weird to say um, on YouTube. National, you know, whatever. Um, but like everyone's feet get dry. So. I got that. Um, this is like pretty big. I was like, wow, that's a decent size. Um, then for my hair, well, I'm gonna save hair for last because that's the main thing. Then I just got a nail polish. This is um a replacement of Sally Hampton. Um, complete salon manicure pat on black six sixty. Sorry, I talk so funny. Um, I retain it so. Just trying to get used to it, and it's like a purple color, and the brushes are huge, and they have a rubber band, so it's really easy to hold when you're painting your nails. And that's how big the brush is. It's humongous, so if you're an OPI fan, me, this is a really good brand to try. Um, on my nails, I have Love Affair in Italy by OPI. Just letting you know. Then I got a replacement. All this stuff is a replacement. Nothing is really new. Of uh, L'Oreal Translucid Natural Luminous Powder. Um, a lot of people can't find this where they live, but I don't know. I have it. They always have it where I live. This is the translucent one, cause I think they have other shades. So this is really good. It's just a kind of white color, and then it just blends out. I have it on now, and it really works. And they give you a lot of product in there, so. Yeah. Then I got a L'Oreal Hip Pigment, because I had this, like, fancy thing I had to go to, and I wanted to do kind of a green, because I was wearing, like, a green dress. And so I got this pigment. And this is in 228 Driving, if I didn't say that. And it's L'Oreal Hip High Intensity Pigments. Pigment. And it has a little strainer. And that's the color of it. You can't really see it too well, but I'll swatch a little bit of it. That is, like, the color of it. It is so pretty. Um, I really like it. I was super surprised, um, so if you want to try pigments but you don't really want to go straight to MAC, this is also a great product to try, uh, test out first. 
another L'Oreal product I've kind of been into L'Oreal. This is the last, like, L'Oreal product. This is L'Oreal's Feather Lash. This is a older mascara, but you can still find it where I live. And it's just like this. I always get the black brown, because this is like when I want to wear a brown mascara, this is what I wear. Then I got a replacement Essence of Beauty eyeshadow brush because I broke mine. I don't know how, but I did. So it just looks like this, and this is really good. Um, my broken one is... Oh, okay, I got it. Like, this is the old one. You can see it's really crooked. And this part, like, comes off. So, I don't know what the heck happened to it, but... This is broken, so... I'm just gonna throw that out. <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah, anyway. Then I just got a new pair of these scissors. Um... Ah! I use these just, like, if I have, like, a hangnail or whatever. These are really good. These are Revlon ones, so... Yeah, I always have to have those. Then I just got... Okay, this is the product I've really been wanting to get. This is a travel uh, face brush. And they have travel kabuki brushes. But I didn't really want a kabuki. I just wanted a regular brush. And when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh. So you just pull the lid off. And then, like, you pull this white part and twist the bottom. And then you get this brush, and it's really good just, um, to put powder on. Um, and it looks like this. Not huge, but it's a decent size. Um, and it's so soft. I love it. And it's really good because, like, if you twist it out, like, a little bit, you could get just, like, a sweep of color of eyeshadow on, so. If any of you are those type of people who just wear one eyeshadow, you know, this is good. Because then you could just go like this, swipe it on, and still, you know, have a face powder brush. So, I was ecstatic when I saw that. Then, going into hair, I just got a replacement hairspray. This is Herbal Essence Set Me Up Hairspray Extra Hold. Um, I've been loving this. It smells really good. And it has, like, that, um, like, it's not, like, an aerosol can. It's just, like, a regular spray bottle. Then, this is what I want to review. I got the John Freda, um, this is my old bottle. John Freda Brilliant Brunette Shine Release Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, this one says moisturizing, and this one says daily, so I don't really know. But these are amazing. I use these every day. And or every time I shower. They're just so good. They don't smell the best. Like, I'm not going to lie. Um, but this one is like a... Um, uh, it's just kind of like a sheer brown color. And it kind of has a, sorry, it kind of has a kind of, um, sparkly, like a very luminous kind of color to it. I'll try to show you. Like that, that's a color. It's like a sheer, luminous brown. Yeah. Then the conditioner. My conditioner is all beat up. I don't even know what happened to it, but it is. Um, that's the kind of, that's the color. It's like a matte brown. Kind of ugly, but whatever. So, I don't know. It's like a brown. But it works really well. It's making my hair a lot darker. And I love it. It's really nice. And it makes my hair really soft. But then, this is the product I really wanted to review because I've been using those for a while. This is new. This is a John Freda Luminous Color 
Shine Glaze, Shine Gloss, or Shine Booster, Brilliant Brunette. So it's, it's like basically a dye. That's the color of it. Like that's the color it's going to give your hair. And that's what it looks like. I'm not going to swatch it or like show you because it stained my hand. Like, oh my god. No, I got like a little bit like right there. You could still kind of see it a little bit. And it did not come off. I had to like scrape it off. Oh my gosh. But what you do is you use those two products, you know, rinse it out, whatever. Twist out the excess water. And then you're still in the shower. You're going to put just enough to cover it root to tip. And you're going to like just slip it on. Just like this. Being careful not to get your head. And you just go like that. And let it set for a minimum of minimum of three minutes. I set it for like five, six minutes. Oh, excuse me. And that's how I get like this color. And I've loved, I've been loving it. Like it's really good. Again, they don't smell the best, but they give you a great color. I'm going to get my hair cut Tuesday, and I'll put this up Sunday. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be putting it up. I'll be getting my hair cut Tuesday. And, yeah. So, definitely try the John Freda collection. It's really good. And, yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys a couple of products that I got and tell you guys about those products. Because I really, really like them. And I will definitely be talking to you guys soon. Um, probably in a couple days. Not, probably in, like, a week. Um, yeah, so... Bye, guys.